Okay, today's video is all about our cloud technologies that we have. The iPad doesn't have a USB, so you must learn to utilize cloud technologies, meaning that your documents are not stored on the device, they're actually stored in the cloud and you access them from your device. So the first one that comes inbuilt to your iPad, iPad is iCloud. So in your settings, if you go in and it's sitting underneath where you normally go in at general and it's in iCloud, just make sure that you've signed in with your Apple ID and that you have documents and data turned on. Documents and data is mainly used for your Apple products of your pages, numbers and keynote and it means that it sends them all to your iCloud account. Your iCloud account can be accessed online. You just go to iCloud.com and you hit sign in and at that point you can access any of your things from any website that you need to access such as your documents and whatever else you have synced on your iCloud account. Now the one that we use a lot is Dropbox. So Dropbox is a free download and it installs on your Mac, on your PC and on your iPad. On your Mac and your PC it mounts very much like a USB drive so you can see all of my documents and so on are listed in here. On a iPad it's an access point but it doesn't actually store them on your device. On your iPad what you are able to do is for any particular document you can see that it's downloading that document now it's doing its little spinning and then it allows me to view the document on here but more importantly when I go up here I can send an email to anyone a text message tweet it copy the link to the clipboard and so on so it means that I can share that file with anyone that allows people to access the file. They can't edit the file so that I can see the edits. They only have access to the edits. All right, we've done some simple sharing with Dropbox just using our tool like this where we send one link to someone else. What you can also do is when you're in the online version of Dropbox, you actually then have the ability to share entire folders. If you notice on here, you'll see that the little people are in folders. That means that that folder is a folder that I have shared with someone else. Now I can take any folder and I can add that folder and give it a link that I can then share with other people. So you can see this one is another shared folder. So if I was to take this particular one and then I hit share link, I can share a link to an entire folder. So it just says to me, put in the email of the people. Or if I don't want to share the entire folder, I can go in to a particular document and I can share that document with someone as well. So I don't need to share the entire folder. I can just share one link. If you share an entire folder, be very aware that people have access to all the contents of that folder just as though you have access. So it means that they can delete, they can add, and they can edit documents within it. And they have full rights to do that when you share. That's the difference between sending a link via your iPad and sharing it via a link through the online version.